Hello, hello! It's Dacopo time, and this episode will be a lot of talk and a little action, but hopefully something cool can emerge from it. The B command is used to jump to a specific position of the song, and it works just as you may think. For example, B07 jumps to the position 7 of the song, and we need to use hexadecimal numbers here, although we're using decimal up here. This command is commonly used at the end of modules to loop the song from somewhere in the beginning, but avoiding to play the intro to the song when looping it. There are, however, other uses for it as well, so I'll show you this by catching up where I left off in the previous episode. I'll begin by loading this fantastic module by Karsten Obarski. Well, actually, it's just one pattern, and I'll show you why I've decided to do this. My goal here is to play this pattern backwards, so the first thing I need to do is reverse the order of the notes in every track. Now this may sound like a lot of work, but it's easily done by marking your block with Ctrl B, using your arrow up key to get to the end of the track, and pressing Ctrl Y to reverse it. Done. And this needs to be done for every track, since you can only mark one block in one track at a time. So I'll tap to my next one, Ctrl B, arrow down this time and control Y. Tab, control B, arrow up, control Y. Tab, control B, down, Y. And just for fun, let's play Crystal Hammer backwards, probably for the first time. <laughs> Alright, so that wasn't too bad. But to actually play this pattern backwards, I need to use a lot of D commands. So on row number 0, I'm going to jump to the last row here. It's D63. And on row number 1, I'm just jumping to row number 0, on row number 2, to row number 1, and so on and so forth. And there is actually a nice hotkey to copy the previous command and automatically increase it. It's Alt equals key. But unfortunately, I can't seem to reach that key in ProTracker on my MacBook, so I'll just add everything manually and use my time machine again. I'll see you soon. Alright, so I've put all the D commands in track number 4 here, but when I hit play, ProTracker will automatically play this pattern from row 0, which means this row will be played before it jumps to the last row here. So this will sound almost correct. Listen. And to get rid of this note, I need to jump to this row from a previous pattern. But since this is our only pattern, I need a new one. So fasten your seatbelts and listen closely now. I'll increase the length of this song to two patterns. But I want the first one to be a new fresh one, so pattern 1 here. But on position 1, I would like pattern 0 to be played. That's this crystal hammer pattern. So in the position editor, it looks like this. First. Pattern number one, that's the empty one, and then pattern zero, that's the crystal hammer one. Perfect. Let's go back to the empty one and hit play. I'll put D63 on this row here to jump to the next position of the song and the last row. Now this should work, right? Let's hit play. Well, not really. What happens here is that in the previous position we told ProTracker to jump to row number 63 of the next position of the song, which is this one. So far so good, but D62 here means not only jump to the previous row, but also the next position of the song. But since this is already the last position of the song, D62 will just jump back to position 0, play two empty rows, automatically go back to this position, encounter D63 here, play this row, jump to row 63 of the next position, which is position 0 again, automatically come back here and get stuck in an infinite loop. In short, we need to fix this. And to prevent ProTracker from jumping back to position 0 all the time, I can just increase the length of the song to the maximum, like 127. Now this will work, but take a look at the position counter up here. As you can see, this is a very efficient way of running out of patterns, so we need to fix this too. Now this is where we use the B command, and first I'll decrease the length of this song again, keeping only the two first patterns like this. 
And here I'll tell ProTracker to not only jump to the previous row, but also jump to the current position of the song. And this is where that priority system I was talking about in the previous episode comes into play. Always make sure the D command is right of the B command, since the D command will overwrite the part where the B command wants to jump to the first row or the next position of the song. So I'll just put B01 here to keep myself on this position, and actually I'm just going to put B01 on every row like this. <laughs> and let's hit play. That's more like it. So congratulations, you have ruined two effect columns for no reason at all. But thank you for tracking, please comment and I'll see you in the next episode.